Welcome to the desert of the real. your brother today is December 31st of 2011 so this is my last video of the year you know the Gregorian calendar year and um, since the year is ending I thought it was appropriate to do this video because I want something else to end hopefully this won't be too long um, it's the Willie Lynch letter. I did a video not too long ago called Willie Lynch Syndrome and it was like with a question mark. And I had one of my friends on, her name was Michelle, and she she has a pet peeve along with me about the Willie Lynch letter. Um, the thing that kills me about this is it, it revealed a lot to me when we addressed this letter first let's get to the facts the letter is not real there was no Willie Lynch there was no guy that came from the West Indies and, and, and created some system from some you know and, and passed it on to plantation owners it's the story on itself is bullshit now what pisses me off about the story is a couple of things one of the things that pisses me off about it is it kind of well not kind of it trivializes what we've been through as a people through the whole North Atlantic slave trade and chattel slavery because there are enough references to draw from from real people and enough documents that are real that we can draw from if people want to have an idea of why we're in the condition that we are right now and why we behave the way that we do right now we don't need to create some mythology and some mythical document in order to represent that. I really don't understand the need for people to do that. And whoever wrote this letter, there's another thing that pisses me off about this letter. It ends up validating the very thing that we're trying to get away from. In other words, whoever wrote it, intention was well if black folks hear a white person saying this and this is this is coming from them then they'll look at it as more authentic that if we were to just tell them you know real history real real documentation and from a black person so what are you really accomplishing you just you 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 basically validating the very thing that you want to get us away from you want us to get away from having to seek validation from white folks we should be um, seeking validation from ourselves and from our own people. So that's, that's another thing that pisses me off. And the and third thing that pisses me off is just, it, 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 it falls under that, that same um, concept of, of the video that I put up called pulling knowledge out of your ass. It's like people just make shit up. And it gets passed around without anybody doing any research, anybody trying to verify whether this shit is even true. It just gets passed around and then repeated back like it's deep and like it's knowledge. Like, like, what's the thing? Um, what's the other, the other urban legend? Oh, picnic. Picnic um, was, was the reason why they came up with the picnic is because they used to pick a nigga to hang or to lynch. So that's how they came up with picnic. Bullshit. This story, that's absolute fucking bullshit. All you got to do is go to a goddamn dictionary. You know, go to, go to look up etymology.com. See where picnic comes from. That has nothing to do with that. You know, it's like... What's the other one? Um, what's the shit? 
that I've heard. Um, oh man, it's so many going through my mind right now. Um, oh, KFC. The reason why they call it KFC is because they can't call it Kentucky Fried Chicken because it's not actually chicken that you're eating. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> Look it up. I, I can't even get this. What's another? Oh, Timberland. Timberland is run by the KKK. Bullshit. Go to the Timberland site. Look, as, as a matter of fact, Timberland is run by Jews. You can't get more, more, more anti-KKK than that. I mean, come on, man. It's like we got to stop it with this bullshit and pulling just shit out of our ass. I remember I was in a chat room one time. And a dude said in the chat room that there was a brother who was um, the first brother to beat Bruce Lee in a tournament. A black dude. And they don't want to tell you about that because it was a black dude. <laughs> and I'm sitting there. So I'm, I, I, I typed him in the chat room and I said, well, that's pretty interesting considering the fact that Bruce Lee was never in tournaments. He never competed in any fucking tournaments. He he performed at tournaments. And he's been to tournaments. But him in competition at tournaments? Prove that to me. And I kept asking him over and over again. What tournament were Bruce Lee in? Where he competed against a, a brother? Or anybody? Bullshit. You know, the day I never addressed it. And he just going on and on and on about something else. But I'm like, when are we going to stop it with this bullshit, man? And the, and, the, and the thing that really annoys me the most about this is if you go against, if you say that you don't believe, or I won't even say that, if you acknowledge the fact that the Willie Lynch letter is bullshit and that it doesn't exist, people make that synonymous with you saying slavery didn't exist. The effects of slavery did not exist. And, and, and we are not feeling the effects of chattel slavery because you deny Willie Lynch. So they've tied it to the point. They tied this myth with our, with our actual history so much that if you deny the myth, you're denying the history. Isn't that some bullshit? That's some straight up bullshit, man. There was no Willie Lynch letter. And you know, this is really, really telling and damaging against the so-called conscious community. Because you guys treat Willie Lynch like Willie Lynch is Jesus Christ. You get on these videos talking about how Jesus ain't real. You get on these videos talking about how um, Abraham ain't real. And, and the prophet Muhammad ain't real. These aren't real people. These are composite characters. These are myths. These is this and blah, 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 blah. But then when somebody addresses your myth. Then now all of a sudden you get just as defensive as the Christians when you attack Jesus. So my thing is this. Stop being a fucking hypocrite. If you can't have your myths and acknowledge your mythology. When somebody points out that this is, person is not real. And you and they can prove it through verification that this is just not real. And you still going to fight them to the end over it. Then don't say shit to Christians about Christ. Don't say shit to Muslims about Muhammad. Don't even bring up that talking point about who's real and who's not. Since we're going to be dealing with mythology, then let's let all mythology be equal. The conscious community's mythology is no more precious than the Christian um, mythology or the Muslim's mythology. So if we're just going to deal with myths and not deal with reality, then let's, let's carry that across the board. Because you all know me, I like consistency. Anyway, I have links in my um, description box to the death of the Willie Lynch letter by Manuel and Pim. I think I'm saying it right. And um, just other sources of um, Charles Colcock and the, um, the religious instruction of the Negro in the United States. These are all actual documents that you can go to. And oh, by the way, it's not Willie Lynch syndrome. It's post-traumatic slave syndrome so we don't need Willie Lynch to describe the effects of slavery people have already been doing it let's let this mythology this urban legend just die and on that note 
I hope you all have a happy new Gregorian calendar year. And I will holler at you good people later. I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. Who knows when I'm going to get to it. Maybe in a couple of days or whatever. I want to say I appreciate you all. I make a video for the 2,000 subscribers when I get to it. But I appreciate every last one of you. Everybody that listens to me. Everybody that's um, subscribed to my channel. And I hope that you you are safe. Your family's safe. Your people are good. You're preparing for what's coming. Which is a whole bunch of bullshit. And get your people in the right place. So that you can protect yourself. Because it don't look like we're getting together. On a collective level anytime soon. So um, protect yourself. And protect your people. Protect your inner circle and your family. And on that note. Holla at y'all later. Peace.